Hi, my name is Thomas Jäger. I'm the creator of creatinggreatsoftware.com, where I teach about building, designing, and architecting great software. This is the third part in the mini-series named Microservices. In the third part, I will teach you a little bit about uh, the big ball of mud and how not to do things when you do microservices. Let's dive right in. As you compose these different microservices, you will get into the the uh, the temptation from one microservice to call another microservice because you needed a piece of inf piece of information that you know about um, that you know about this other microservice has this piece of information and you want to get access to it, so you call it directly. If it allows you have direct calls available, maybe through some kind of public API. However, don't do that never call a microservice directly and we'll we'll see later why that is and so i have seen absolutely horrible um big ball of muds what was called by this organization uh uh microservices which really wasn't at all it was a big mess of service oriented architecture with so many calls made to other microservices so first, this is a big enter pattern. Don't do that. Don't call other microservices in your application directly. What you end up doing is, is like this. Over time, uh, depending who's maintaining the system, multiple developers that come and go, uh, maybe a different architect comes on to the organization and uh, they slightly slip, make this exception here and there, and over time, these microservices will call other microservices. This causes so many issues, not just from a performance point of view, but how do you actually replace a microservice like this? How can I replace, say, this microservice here in the center? Because I know when you look at it, this big ball of mud here, this big mess, that other microservices are calling my microservices. So I might potentially, or I will most likely potentially break contracts contracts on the APIs that are created, the dependencies uh, on even when I can replace something like this. Uh, so there's so many headaches, so you, you, you don't want to go into that one. Uh, avoid this at all costs possible. Don't let people tell you that they have a microservice architecture when they call each other. Uh, that's not a system that you want to maintain and to create. This is a, I would call this a really uh, a messy service-oriented architecture. It's not microservice architecture, for sure.